is Caitlin, your number one girls lacrosse YouTuber. And first off, I just want to say I'm so sorry I missed last week's upload. Um, I've been slammed with so much work this past couple weeks. And I have to prepare two auditions for a big music festi festival coming up. So I just didn't have any time to film or anything. I was just slammed, wiped with work. Um, but I'm back this week. And I'm giving you guys a review of... The True Comp LZ 6.0 that True Across sent me um, because they selected me as a true tester. Um, also, I just want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Um, but yeah, 500 subscribers is insane. Um, it's amazing how far we've come in this short amount of time. So, thank you guys so much. We're working on a thousand by the end of the year. It's going to be difficult, but we might be able to do it. We might. Um, I got a lot of footage outside. Um, with the shaft because I really wanted to show you guys how it performs rather than just tell you um, so first off I just I kind of want to talk about like the the feel the grip um, when I when I took the took the um, shaft out of the box or bag um, I was actually really surprised at first it's a little bit of a sandpapery feel but it's not, it's not, it doesn't irritate your skin. It's not like actual sandpaper, but it's not like, it doesn't really feel like this type of shaft. It's more soft and smooth. If you hear it, it goes, um, it's a little bit more gritty, I guess. Um, it's just actually not a bad thing. I actually think it'll perform really well in the rain and elements and everything. Um, because there's just these little tiny, like little, grit that um really lets your hand latch on and not really move around too much so yeah I think they did they hit spot on with the texture of the shaft now as you can see there's a thin part of the shaft so basically it starts out at the bottom wide it's actually pretty wide for a woman's shaft but then it slowly tapers into a very very thin shaft probably like the if if the whole shaft was this thin it'd be like the thinnest shaft on the market <laughs> and basically true is calling this the loading zone um so when you shoot that's where like a little bit of flex is going to come in um not so much in a woman's stick because it's actually really hard to get flex on a woman's shaft with a shot um, but flex is basically makes a faster shot um, and I actually found this stick this shaft very very fast when I threw with it first time it was like very quick and accurate um, so props to true for that um, if they if you can't really see the flex with your eye I don't know if it's there but I'm gonna try to slow slow down some of my shots and see if you can see any flex in the shaft but um, but another thing I found really awesome for this part of the shaft is for really quick cradling because it's so skinny. Like you can just, you can get so many more cradles in, um, rather than cradling something like this. It's a lot wider. Um, so this was actually really useful. I did a cradling clip, um, to show how fast you can cradle and how easily you can maneuver your stick when it's this thin. Um, so I think this is a huge bonus for cradling and getting past defenders and all that kind of stuff. Definitely keep this around, Drew Across. Um, it's a great asset to the shaft. So durability. I think this shaft is actually very, very dur durable. Um, you know, I used this for two whole weeks almost, and you know, I haven't seen any like wear or bends or anything. So I took it to a team dinner, and someone stepped right on it, and it was fine, totally good. Um, no dents or scratches or anything. I really love this shaft. Like, 
when I first used it, I was very surprised with how much I liked it. Um, Cause usually I kind of like, I, I don't know. I kind of like wider shafts just because they feel more durable to me, but this is actually very durable even though it's so thin right here. Um, I wonder if like after a whole season's use, if this would have any uh, bends or anything or it seems very strong to me. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely great on durability. Like <laughs> this chef is getting like straight A's right now. Um, so for looks, I think this shaft looks absolutely clean. Um, you can see like it's actually pretty cool. Like they show the little technology here on the side, and then like, there's lots of little tiny details um, on this shaft. It makes it look pretty like high tech and stuff. Um, here it says loading zone. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, it's like a really really clean look. Um, fine texture it's just awesome and this little bottom bit right here that's a nice little splash of color it's black with blue looks pretty sweet I must say also the butt end they sent with it is actually really nice and like sturdy um when you're shooting you don't have to really worry about it coming off because it actually stays on really well and it's nice and hard so that's great. Um, but yeah, so I give this shaft a 9.8 out of 10, um, especially for just a prototype. It did a great first job, first stab at this. So thank you so much, True, for selecting me to be a true tester. And yeah, I'm really excited to use this more. True Comp LZ. 6.0 excellent shaft it's probably gonna be pretty pricey when they release it but in my opinion it's worth it maybe just lower it 20 bucks <laughs> um so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in the next one thank you so much for 500 subscribers see you